In this video, we'll look at using the UMass command to set default permissions. Let's look at the default value for UMass. To compute the permissions, 022 will be subtracted from 666. So you'll see 644 as the default permissions. So let's touch a new file that's named file perm2. Let's look at the permissions by typing in ls-l file perm2 permissions. And as you can see, that 644 read write for the owner of the file, read for the group owner, and read for everyone else on the system. Now let's set a different value for UMass. Of 333. And we'll touch another file, file perm3. Now in this case, because we subtracted 333 from 666, we'll see that that gave us read, read, read for the owner, the group owner, and everyone else. Let's do a UMask of U27. And we'll create another file, file perm 4. In this case, the owner has read write permissions. Since 6 minus 0 is going to be 6, which corresponds to, to be 6, which corresponds to read and write. 6 minus 2 gave us 4, that corresponds to read. And because we have a file, when we subtract this 6 from 7 from 6, that actually removed all of our permissions. Let's create a new directory. Tester P by entering the command mkdir tester p. And let's look at the default permissions for tester p. Now we're going to enter ls-la so that we get a long listing and we can see the hidden files. When dealing with a directory, you're going to subtract the value of umask from 777. Let's now set the umask to 333. When we subtract 333 from 777, this actually gave us read, read, read. But you'll notice when we try to do an ls-la on the tester p2 directory, you'll see that we get permission deny. That's because in order to list the contents of the directory, you need both read and execute permissions. And we only have read permissions. Let's next set the umask to 022. So the default permission in this case is going to be 777 minus 022. So that'll give us 7 by 5, which in this case gives us read, write, execute for the owner of the file, read and execute for the user, and read and execute for the group owner. Now for that directory, tester P2, we can always change the permissions to give the user or the owner read and execute permissions. And you'll see in this case, when I do an ls-la, tester2, I do have read and execute permissions, which allows me to do a directory listing. I could have done u plus w if I wanted to write to this directory. 